Cassette Tag 2023 on our budget collection. Let's take a look. BC and CC community and of course CD community music lovers Let's call it that music community um, yeah a bit different this video I'm doing the uh, cassette tag 2023 um, I've got a stack of cassettes and I'm about to do my best regarding this tag uh, first question cassette from 2022 or brought in 2022 I brought this um, Oasis, definitely maybe, um, cassette uh, last year. Uh, I brought it in a uh, in a lot of other uh, 90s cassettes. Um, so yeah, glad to have this. Um, I think it might be a first press. I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, there you go. It's the only um, Oasis album I have. I would like to have the rest of the collection on, on cassettes at some point, uh, but um, they are a little bit pricey. Um, question two, uh, a punk or a new wave tape? Um, for question two, I've taken um, Talking Heads out of the collection, and that's yeah, Remain in Light. This uh, this one for new wave. Um, I did have a look for punk. Um, I couldn't really find too much. Um, I think the Jam is about probably the, the closest I've got to punk, but I'm not going to show that one. Um, I have, well, I would like um, uh, the Sex Pistols album, but uh, I don't have that either. And uh, my other punk band I, I like is um, Blink-182 from um, sort of like the 90s, 2000s onward. Um, so um, I don't have anything on cassette, fortunately. So uh, just that one for the moment. Um, question three, uh, metal or hard rock? Um Metal and hard rock, I've gone for uh, Iron Maiden. I guess it com comes under the, uh, the metal category. So yeah, Iron Maiden's debut album. Uh, question four, a sealed tape. Um, I don't have too many sealed tapes in the collection, but I do have a copy of this uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers Echo. Um, Good album, this quite an underrated uh, little gem. So yeah, this uh, Tom Petty and Heartbreakers Breakers, uh, Echo still sealed. Question five: A experimental uh, noise cassette. Um, I don't have really anything like that in my collection. Uh, the best I could come up with is this Mike Oldfield's Tubular Bells Two. Um, yeah. It's not as good as the original. Um, the first one came out in the 70s, a good 20 odd years before this came out in the 90s. Um, this seems very uh, sampley and, and, and is not the complete uh, polished um, album as the, as the original. Um, it doesn't seem to flow uh, nowhere near as, as well as the first album and uh, it's it's very samply um, every track is is very samply it's very repetitive and um, it's not a particularly great album but there's one or two songs on there which are quite quite nice like um, I think it's called uh, Tattoo it's just a nice um, bagpipe 
um, piece on here. Uh, that is for me is the best track on the album, and it's only worth listening to because of the, that song alone. Um, but yeah, not particularly a great album. Sold well, but not a great album for me. But anyway, Mike Oldfield, Tubular Bells 2. Um, question 6, a tape from the 80s. Uh, a classic tape from the 80s here. Def Leppard, Hysteria. Um, of all 80s tapes, I think it has to be this one for me. So yeah, Hysteria, Def Leppard. Question 7, Hip Hop or an R&B cassette? Um, I was thinking for hip hop. I couldn't find anything. I, w I would really like a copy of that um, Beastie Boys album. I can't think of the name of it. It's called now. Um, but uh, I, I keep getting outbid on that actually. But I picked out this uh, this uh, Black Street another level nineties uh, R and B cassette. I picked up for like fifty p in a charity shop. Um, it's got the hits, uh, No Diggity and Fix on there. You recognise those songs. Yes. Another level. Uh, question eight. A cassette hat trick. Um, hat trick. So basically, a cassette you own on CD, cassette and vinyl. And that would be, for me, Wonderful Madness. Um, so yeah, had the CD. I uh, acquired the cassette a little bit later, and then fairly recently, within the last year or two, uh, this album came out on vinyl for the first time, so I've snapped that up as well. So yeah, hat trick there. Question 9. Most rare and expensive tape in the collection? My most expensive tape, I would have thought, would be this uh, Beach Boys Pet Sounds um, classic album. I mean... Of all albums, this has got to be just the best. So yeah, to have it on a cassette is uh, is very nice indeed. And uh, yeah, glad to have that on cassette. Pet sounds. Um, number ten, uh, techno or synth cassette. Um, I probably got a few synth bits and pieces, but uh, I went for this uh, techno one by uh, Two Unlimited, No Limits. 90s uh, cassette. It's got quite a few hits on here actually. No Limit, uh, Tribal Dance, Faces, uh, Maximum Overdrive I think was a hit. Um, Let the Beat Control Your Body was a hit. So yeah, that's uh, one, two, um, three, four, five, five hits off that album. So yeah, two pound that was. From a record shop a little while ago. Uh, question 11. A tape you brought at a show. I don't own anything um, which I brought from a show. Um, question 12. A coloured shell cassette. Uh, I picked out a bit of an obscure album from the 70s, I think. This uh, Dennis Waterman, uh, Down Winds of Angels. And uh, as you could probably guess, with a yellow case. It has a yellow cassette, so um, not particularly all that uncommon really, but this is about as coloured as, as I got in the collection, unless I've got something in there which I hadn't actually realised. There could be something sitting in there which I didn't actually realise was a translucent coloured shell or something, but uh, I went with that. Um, <clears throat> question 13, an imported cassette. Uh, this is about as imported as I can get, really. Um, this this Beatles, I know, <laughs> I know you're gonna say, oh, Beatles aren't, you know, imported. They're a Liverpool band, I and mean, that's true. But this is actually a Turkish um, edition. So um, yeah, Turkish uh, Beatles album, which I picked up from a uh, charity shop. Um, a uh, year or two ago, so uh, yeah, there you go. That's a good set. Uh, and it's got uh, Kent Electronique San. Uh, so, yes, pretty sure that that is a Turkish cassette. So, there you go. I'm on a great album as well. 
Uh, for question 14, will you continue to buy in 2023? And the answer is yes, I will still buy cassettes. Um, I do enjoy cassettes. They're, they're small to collect. Um, and they just, they have a charm of their own. And, and they sound pretty good as well, no matter what most people think. Um, I do like cassettes. So yes, I will continue to buy. Um, probably not like in mass quantity, but just the old one here and there. Question 15. Um, what do you play your tapes on? Um, well, as you can see, I play my cassette tapes on this uh, Technics Twin Deck. Um, it's not brilliant in the way that it does have a few faults on its own, um, but I can still play cassettes out of it. Pretty, pretty well. Um, might have to flick the cassette over to the other side or something and play it in reverse one side or something funky goes on here. Um, something's not quite right. But it does play well and I can get it to play. So uh, that's the main thing. Um, I have this, the amp as well and the uh, CD player and uh, this, the graphic equaliser and the record player as well. So all nice one set up. So yeah. And I do have a, another separate cassette player as well. I think that's a Pioneer, and that's um, stored somewhere under the uh, the stairs. So yeah, I do have a couple of uh, cassette decks to play music on. Actually, thinking about it, I uh, I do actually have a boombox which I lent to my daughter who has it in her bedroom. Uh, that has a cassette player on there, which I did buy it for that purpose, but. Um, I, I sort of gave it to my, my daughter just to listen to music on. So it's somewhere buried in her bedroom. Um, so I, there is that somewhere in the house. Um, question uh, 15. Sorry, question 16. A mixed tape uh, or a blank tape. Um, I have this, uh, this TDK uh, classic tape. Um, it is the D60. Um, these are good tapes. They're not perhaps the best regarding sound quality, but they're a good workhorse and uh, they're normally very reliable. And uh, this was one I picked up from a charity shop a while ago. Virtually unused. It's, I mean, it's even got the stickers intact. So uh, that's a bit of a rarity. So uh, yeah, I just have, I think there's 80s music on this particular one, which I, I normally leave it in the, in the cassette deck and just... Uh, play it on occasions when I want to quickly listen to music so yeah it's an 80s mixtape of my favorite 80s tunes um, which I sort of got into recently so uh, yeah always have that handy always a good thing um, <clears throat> question 17 the cassettes you want pressed to vinyl a uh, bit of a guilty pleasure this one um, I bought this um, PJ and Duncan psych album it's the first album I brought, and it's my, I think my second cassette I brought. Well, it's my first album. My first cassette I brought was a compilation. But I used to listen to it a lot, and uh, I was a bit of a bit of a fan back in the day when I was, I don't know what, eight, eight, nine, ten, that sort of age. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, I <laughs> I would like to see a pressing on vinyl. Um, just for nostalgia's sake, really, and yeah, I, I would buy it. I would buy it, <laughs> and just for that reason alone. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a guilty pleasure. Um, so yeah, not exactly uh, particularly proud of it, but it is what it is. You know, I'm sure we all have these guilty pleasures and things in our collections, and yeah, it's a bit embarrassing sometimes to uh, to talk about it. So, but yeah. Copy of Psych on vinyl, I think that'd be very cool. Yeah, very nostalgic for me to, to come across it, but whether it'll ever happen or not, I doubt it, but you never know. Um, anyway, uh, question 18, show an 8-track or a VHS. I don't have any 8-tracks, um, so I have to go to my VHS VHSs. <laughs> um, my uh, Iron Maiden uh, Visions of the Beast cassettes. Uh, this is pretty darn cool, actually. Um, basically, has all the music videos on there up to about two thousand and one. So, regarding cassettes, this is fairly modernish. You know, it's kind of petered out after then, pretty much. 
into the 2000s. So yeah, um, yeah, great little uh, cassette. This was a charity shot find. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> question 19. Your 23rd cassette in your collection. Um, yeah, I had to go through my, my collection. Uh, obviously, I got through all the A's. Um, and time I got into the B's, obviously. What other bigger band is there in the B's other than the Beatles? Obviously, has to be. Um, and that is a Hard Day's Night album. Uh, these were, I think they re released these in the 80s, um, and they sound pretty good over the uh, the older ones. Um, so, uh, yeah, so Hard Day's Night. Uh, question 20, a double cassette or a tape box set? Uh, double cassettes, I have quite a few really. I went for this one, um, Paul McCartney Wingspan compilation. It's just a nice comp, I think. Um, packed full of full of his hits on there. So, so yeah, it's, it's got his hits on the first cassette. And then he's got his history, his, his more weaker hits really um but um yeah still a nice comp to uh, to pick up this one um 40 tracks of paul mccartney so um yeah very cool and finally the bonus question question 21 um show a cassette single uh like a single and yet again i'm going with the beatles um this time with free as a bird which was one of the Beatles hits released in the mid nineties. Um, one of the, well, John Lennon's um, songs he had on tape um, got made into into a song under the uh, production under under Jeff Lynne, Paul McCartney, and um, George Harrison and Ringo Starr. Um, and they yes, they made a song, "Free as a Bird," and it's a it's a good song. I've always liked "Free as a Bird," so. Um, yeah, that's my cassette single, and that is basically everything. Um, I think I've done pretty well answering most of the questions, uh, but there's one or two on there I, I just couldn't do, like experimental tape. I couldn't do um, a tape before a show. I rarely ever go to shows, if not ever. So to have us to have anything is highly unlikely. So uh, yeah, um, that is it. Thanks for this uh, this challenge. Um, I did enjoy it. Um, it was a bit different, so yeah, I was, I was quite excited to give this a go. I've got quite a few cassettes, so I thought, yeah, this, this would be a bit of a, a different challenge other than the vinyl tag. So yeah, happy to do it. So uh, thank you to the creator who did it. And uh, thank you all for uh, for watching and subscribing. So yeah, till next time, bye for now.